Today I'm going to learn how to show the angle between two vectors, thanks to that product. So, let's see it. Let's the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes, create a new profile. I'm going to close this panel. And let's create two vectors. So let's use a curve line. And let's make a copy of that. Now, let's join this together with join geometry. Let's connect this here, this here, and this here. Now we can control these two lines. We're going to use only the end to get, for example, this angle. And what I'm going to do is to give some mesh to these lines. So, like always, let's give curve to mesh. Now we have two lines. And what I want is to control the end of the lines with two empties. So, let's add two empties, empty a sphere. Make it a smaller and make a copy. And now let's attach these empties to the end of the curve lines. So one here, let's connect location to the end, so we can control this line, and the other to the end of the second line. Perfect. Now what we want is to get this angle, and see with a text which angle is. So to do that, we need to use dot product. So let's bring vector math. And here we need to select dot product. If you don't know what is dot product, I have a tutorial where I explain you how it works. But don't worry, I will show you more or less how it works here. We have two inputs, so we need to connect these two inputs. One here and one here, two vectors. And dot product it gives you a value, as you can see here. It doesn't give you a vector, it gives you a number. So let's convert this number in a text. Value to string, remember a string is a text, and let's convert the string to curve. So a string to curve, and let's fill this curve with fill curve, and now let's connect it here. So here we have a number. Minus zero. Okay, now let's enter this text. And what I want is to move it with transform so I can rotate it 90 degrees in X and make it higher. Something like that. Now it's showing the dot product between these two lines. So zero means that this is perfectly 90 degrees, or more or less. We need to add more decimals here. If you don't know what is dot product, I recommend you to see this tutorial. But basically, the dot product is a number that tells you the relation between two vectors, and it tells you how similar they are. But to see better this number, what we have to do is to normalize both vectors before connecting to dot product. So let's make a copy of this and select normalize. And let's add it here and here. What this does is to convert these two vectors in a scale between 0 and 1. So this result will be maximum between minus 1 and 1. That's how the product works. So basically, when two vectors are more or less perfectly aligned, it gives you 1. When they are not really aligned, so they are opposite, it gives you minus 1. As you can see right now, when they are opposite, it gives you minus 1. And when they are aligned, 1. And in the middle, it gives you all these numbers. So when the angle is more than 90 degrees, it gives you a negative number. And when the angle is less than 90 degrees, it's a positive number until maximum 1. So thanks to this, we can convert it, this number, in degrees. How? What we have to do, I'm going to create a group here. So we know this is to convert this value in a text. We need to add here a math node and select arco sign. And now we get this number. So before, after, and this is not degrees. But if we convert this to degrees, so let's make a copy of that and select convert to degrees. Now this number is the real number of this angle. If you don't want to see so many decimals, let's come back here with tab and select zero decimals. So thanks to dot product, 
I repeat, if you don't know how it works, I recommend you to see the tutorial. But thanks to this and after adding this and converting this number in degrees, because this basically just convert radians to degrees. So thanks to this, we can convert the dot product to an angle. If you ask me how this works, honestly, I don't know. I don't have this high level of maths, but it's a value that we can convert it to degrees. So at the end, it's what we want. And now you can check that if we try to move these empties, it tells you in real time the angle. So when they're really close, it will tell you almost zero. So almost right now, let me make a zoom. And you can see that now they only have one angle of difference. And if I open this more, you can see better. For example, what I can do is press N and select zero. And move this, for example, one meter. And this one, select zero and move it, for example, in the other direction. So as you can see, this angle is perfectly 180 degrees. And if I select, for example, zero and one, this angle is 90 degrees. Or if I select one in X and one in Z, we have a perfect angle of 45 degrees. So as you can see, this works perfectly. So I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.